Hello all. In this session, we will examine and analyze various other data types and formats that are going to be utilized in the computer system. As we have already discussed and understood about the various data formats, handful of data formats that are more than sufficient to be implemented in any computer system. What is the point in going for some other data types? What is the actual use? Let us have a look at. Let me start with a gray code. What is the use of a gray code? What is the difference of the gray code from the other binary codes that we have examined already? Let us have a look at. Before I explain you about a gray code, let us understand that the computer system is a digital system, right? The computer system is a digital system and it is going to work only with the digital data. But sometimes these digital systems tend to receive the data from the analog uh, units, from the analog devices. When an analog device is trying to communicate with the computer system, rather digital system, it is going to transmit some analog data. When our digital system receives this analog data, it has to be converted into the corresponding digital format because the computer system will never deal with the analog data directly. They cannot understand the analog data directly. Hence, a data conversion is actually required. The analog data, when it is being input to the computer system, must be converted to a digital data. Right? This can be achieved by using the code converters. We will use some code converters in the computer system, which converts data from one form to another form, such as analog to digital. Okay, so let us use a code converter. Let us say this is a code converter. These code converters can be realized and designed by using the hardware components such as gates, combinational circuits, and the sequential circuits. By combining them, we are going to achieve some code converters. Now these code converters will, will convert the data from analog to digital. Here, the problem is, if an analog data has to be converted into a strike binary code, then it would be very difficult. That is, there has been an analog data received. That analog data has, uh, has to be converted into a strike binary code. Let us say my computer system supports only binary code, pure and straight binary code. So now let me tell you, the data that has been received must be converted into binary, the straight binary. Let me tell you, this is very difficult indeed. Converting analog to straight binary is proven to be very difficult. If it is difficult, the logic must be implemented within this converter, right? The converter logic will be very complex, which has to convert analog to digital. If a converter has been designed and built by using a complex logic, the size of the converter will get increased. And the time which is taken by the converter to convert from analog to digital will be more. So here there are two problems. If the conversion is difficult, the converter should be complex. So it takes more circuits. If more circuits are uh, there, then definitely it takes more size. And obviously, time also will get increased. The time to convert analog to digital will also be more, right? So in order to avoid this, what we do is we will use gray codes. We will support the computer system with a gray code. This gray code is very simple code. This gray code is designed by using a simple logic. We'll understand the logic of the gray code in a short while. And at the same time, try to understand if an analog data has to be converted into gray data, it will be very simple indeed. Converting analog to gray is proven to be very simple. So obviously, the converter logic need not be that complex. So every computer system, rather most of the computer system, supports gray code. Then what is a gray code? In order to understand gray code, let us understand a binary code. What is the difference between binary code and a gray code? When you take a binary code, let us say um, there are a few values. 5, 6, 7, 8. Have a look at the binary equivalence of 5, 6, 7, 8 decimal. 
5 binary equivalent is 0101 6 binary equivalent is 0110 7 binary equivalent is 0111 8 binary equivalent is 1000 have a look now if a value has to be transformed to the next subsequent value in a binary more than one bit will get changed once again if a value has to be transformed to the next subsequent value in a binary code more than one bit will be changed we will see what it is five is equivalent is 0101 now to obtain six from five what we need to do is we need to convert more than one bit to its complement let us say here the least significant bit in six is equal to zero but in five it is equal to one this bit must be changed similarly second bit should also be changed right these are also different so there are two bits change their values to their complements when the next subsequent value has to be obtained in binary so from 6 to 7 more than two digits are changed in fact every digit is changed from 0 to 1 there has been a change right and uh, only so, so sorry 6 to 7 there is only one change but 7 to 8 you can clearly understand all bits are changed one has been changed to 0 again one has been changed to 0 again one has to be changed to 0 0 has been you know converted to its complement that is 1 so when a binary number when a binary value has to be transformed to the next subsequent value more than one bit will be changed but in a gray code we don't have that problem in two consecutive gray code values only you can observe one bit change but not more than one bit same cannot be guaranteed in a binary once again in two subsequent values in two successive values of a gray you can observe only a change in one bit but not more than one bit but in binary more than one bit can be changed let us see you see between 0 and 1 only one bit has been changed again from 1 to 2 only one bit has been changed 2 to 3 again only one bit has changed so if you take any two successive values in gray only one bit will get changed here you can clearly see only one bit change that is this one okay and remaining all are one and the same so as you can clearly see we just have witnessed how simple is a gray code logic and the conversion of a analog code to the gray code will be proven to be very simple okay now let us have a look at how to convert binary to gray and gray to binary we'll have a look at now let us convert a binary value into gray let us say i want to convert a binary value into gray let us say oh, this is 0101 what is 0101 0101 will be equal to 5 we will see five's corresponding gray code when you have to convert binary to gray the logic is very simple that is obtain msb of gray as equal to the msb of binary that is the gray code msb bit will be as equal as the binary digit so a zero will be copied next next bit you are going to obtain in a gray which is an output of the corresponding digit in the binary and the previous digit in the binary simply if you want to get the next bit you just xr these two digits so what you will get 0 1 xr is equal to 1 all right next next bit you need to get what you need to do just go to the corresponding digit and previous digit this corresponding digit and the previous digit xr will give you the value in the gray 10 value in the gray is equal to 1 and again 0 1 xr is equal to 1 again so in our two convert from binary to gray steps are very simple most significant bit will be equal so there won't be any change you just note down the most significant bit as it is in the gray code even but in order to obtain the next bit what you do is you xr the corresponding digit and the previous digit 
the output will be the next digit and again if you want to get this digit let us say this is first bit right this is zeroth bit this is first bit if you want to get the first bit you xr the first bit in the binary and the previous subsequent bit that is second bit so 1 xr 0 is equal to 1 and again 0s xr 1 is equal to 1 this is how you are going to get a gray code from a binary value now how a gray code can be converted into a binary code this logic of converting from gray to binary is even more simple let us see how it is going to be possible 0 triple 1 how we going to convert it as you already know gray is most significant digit and the binary is most significant digit will be one and the same so there won't be any change at all so zero will be copied as it is even in the binary now let us observe this digit if the corresponding digit in the gray is equal to 1 if the corresponding digit in the gray is equal to 1 the binary value will be a flipped value from the previous digit so you can clearly see this is one so here the value must be the flipped value from from the previous digit rather the complemented value of the previous digit so this is equal to 1 okay and again this is 1 as this is 1 the corresponding value in the gray must be the flipped value of the previous digit so this is equal to 0 and again this is equal to 1 as this is equal to 1 the value of the gray must be the flipped value of the previous digit that is 1 okay so this is how we are going to obtain binary from gray once again how i can convert gray to binary from gray to binary most significant bit will be as it is and you just observe the value in the binary if the value value of the binary is equal to 1 then the result of the gray code will be the complement of the previous digit if the value of the gray code is equal to 0 then the result will be the same as the previous digit by using this logic we'll be able to convert gray to binary okay so let us have a look at now you can clearly see we are converting from binary to gray let us say this is a binary value and this is a gray value top one is a binary and the bottom one is a gray binary to gray how we are going to convert write the most significant digit as it is copy the most significant digit as it is and in order to obtain the next digit you need to complement sorry you need to xr these two digits 10 xr is equal to 1 01 xr is equal to 1 10 xr is equal to 1 01 xr is equal to 1 11 xr is equal to 0 10 xr is equal to 1 similarly the steps will be iterative till you finish with the least significant digit at the same time how you are going to convert a gray code to the binary code gray code to binary conversion will be very simple here of course here also most significant digit will be as it is so you copy it as the same in order to obtain the next digit you need to observe this corresponding digit if this corresponding digit in the gray code is equal to 1 this digit will be a flipped digit from the previous digit rather you know the complement digit from the previous digit now you can clearly see here this is 1 if this is 1 the corresponding gray output must be the complement of the previous digit so this is equal to 0 so here this is also equal to 1 which means that the corresponding gray output must be equal to the complement of the previous digit one corresponding gray output should be the complement of previous digit one's complement is equal to zero again this is one corresponding gray output must be the complement of previous digit that is zero's complement is equal to one now here we have a zero if we do have a zero the corresponding gray output must be equal to the previous digit i hope you got it so this is how we are going to convert gray code to the binary code okay this gray code is essential to be implemented because when when analog signals are needed to be converted stripe binary code conversion is very difficult from the analog but analog to gray it will always be proven to be very simple so the converter logic will be simple i hope you got this point that's it thank you